Hello, good afternoon. So, I am Rahul Prajesh. I will be presenting the work which has been done by one of my students. So, uh, this is the development of highly sensitive iron oxides in film for acetone sensing. So, as sir was discussing in the morning, so uh, in breath there are multiple biomarkers which can be detected by gas sensors so that we can get the idea of the disease, different diseases. So, uh, this uh, particular study of diseases through biomarkers from the breath is called breathomics. This is kind of recent coined word which has been into literature, literature nowadays. So, just a quick uh, information about that. So, uh, diabetes can be detected using acetone in the breath. This is one biomarker. NOx can be used for lung disease detect detection. Ammonia is for renal disease uh, as Anju was talking about the ammonia. So, it has application the server was asking about the application of ammonia. It has application in renal, renal disease detection as well so in health care. Another one is the ethane. It can be used for Alzheimer detection. So, these are the different gases which are present in the breath, it can be used for, for the detection of uh, health care, uh, different diseases basically. So, uh, 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 this talk is basically uh, concentrated on the diabetes detection. So, for diabetes detection I have talked like, like this acetone is the preferred biomarker, there are other biomarkers as well, but this is the dominant biomarker which can be quantified to know the diabetes level. So, these are the values which you can see. If the uh, acetone concentration in breath is in this particular order 0 0.3 to 9, 0 0.9 ppm, so this is considered a healthy person. And these uh, like values as some of you are taking pictures, these values are not uh, like uh, the strong lines, these hard lines on stone, written on stone. These are taken from literature and there are uh, deviation in the literature well. So, consider that point before taking pictures. <laughs> so, uh, so, these are the the guidelines basically not the rules. So, uh, uh, if you see the values these are 0.9 approximately 1 ppm is a healthy person and you have 0.9 to 1.7 around 2 ppm and then 2 to at least 4 is diabetic. So, there are different stages the pre diabetic, diabetic and post ketosis that is called post diabetic. So, what have we done in this work? We have uh, prepared a material which is highly sensitive towards acetone. And uh, this is very selective as well. As earlier in the morning, it was discussion like selectivity and sensitivity. These are two pa most important parameters for sensing gases in the breath. So we have used uh, sputtering deposition, physical de deposition technique. Uh, Sumita was discussing about the sol gel process and thermal deposition process. So these are different. There are va various techniques for the deposition. So uh, all of them have their advantages and disadvantages. This is what is like. Uh, uh, mass producible, this uh, technique is used for the mass production sputtering because you can make lot of wafers, lot of samples can be made quickly. So, these are a few parameters may not be a, of the interest of all, but just for the like uh, parameters, what are the parameters we have used if anybody is interested. So, then comes the uh, material characterization. So, if you, you have deposited a material and I will try to like be very brief in this presentation because we are already short, short of time. So, uh, the material deposition has been done, then we go for characterization of the material and then we go for the sensing of the gas on that particular material. This is the flow of my presentation. So, in this if you see this is the uh, morphology of the sputtered film. So, morphology as one was talking like asking about the why the sensitivity is going down if you have a larger grain. So, if you are increasing temperature grain size was increasing. So, why it is so? Basically, you need a smaller grain size so that you can have larger sensitivity. So, if you have more number of green boundaries that will give you more sensitivity. So, that means you have more sensing sites. If large grain is size is larger, you have less green boundaries that will give you less sensitivity. That is the reason of that. That is why we go for testing of the morphology basically. So, here you can see the grain size is very small and if you go more deep into the physics, this is this should be comparable to the Debye length of the material electron Debye length that is uh, more physics that we can discuss uh, any time else. So, this is uh, somewhere around 11 nanometers, this is very uh, small particle. So, the grain size is very small that means grain boundaries are very high. So, this material will be very sensitive, should be very sensitive towards gas sensing. Then comes the uh, confirmation that this is iron oxide. As I am talking about iron oxide, you should have a cons confirmation that this is iron oxide material. So, for that we have multiple uh, characterizing methods like one is XRD, one is Raman which can confirm that this is iron oxide and also the phase, what phase of iron oxide is present. So, we have done Raman spectroscopy and here you can see this is alpha iron oxide 
and this is called hematite phase. There are four stages, four phases of iron oxide which are used particularly alpha, beta, gamma and epsilon. There are four phases. So, mostly people have like sir was asking about uh, what are the different materials people are using for uh, this acetone sensing. So, there are multiple materials has been explored to sense the acetone like and tin oxide is the most popular one. Iron oxide, gamma phase people have used like multiple places, but we are proposing alpha uh, iron oxide. This is very sensitive towards uh, acetone sensing. Next comes the atomic force microscopy. This will give you the roughness of the uh, de deposited film because roughness is also another parameter which is important for sensing applications. Higher the roughness, you have more surface to volume ratio. That means more reaction uh, sites and hence larger the sensitivity. So this is giving you uh, good roughness and uh, it's a kind of smooth film which is uh, also required to get stable results. So, this is basically a trade off. You have higher uh, roughness, you will get higher sensitivity. If you have uh, higher sensitivity means more unstability. So, you need a trade off between these two. So, roughness should be uh, higher, but it should not be that high that it is giving unstable results. So, to smooth surface is also required so that you can get these stable results. Next comes the, uh, so uh, as I told earlier, the uh, material, de material deposition material characterization and now comes the sensing part of it. Uh, the like earlier it has been shown these uh, the setup. So, it is basically a chamber where you are passing some gas through MFCs mass flow controllers and that chamber is airtight. So, there is an inlet and outlet and sample is placed inside that chamber. So, uh, these are the characterization results as I was talking about like 1 ppm, 2, 3 ppm these are the required range for that diabetes detection and our sensor should be sensitive enough so that it can sense those particular low level of uh, acetone. So, if you see we are able to sense 1 ppm, 3 ppm, 5 ppm even lower we have checked up to 100 ppb. So, that is 0.1 ppm. So, this sensor is working very good for that concentration as well. If you see the response, the response is very good. The next slide probably is there. So, if you see the response 60 to 70 percent response is there for 1 ppm. It is very sensitive kind of film. So, this is the, uh, this is, uh, I have covered all the like uh, ppms and their responses in one table. If you can see, these are three cycles for each ppm. So, uh, one ppm has been done three times, three ppm three times and five ppm three times. Just to see the repeatability of the device that is responding well towards repeatable concentration. So, uh, that is all for now. Uh, we have let like, like depositor film, characterize it and sense for acetone and this is giving, giving very high sensitivity and uh, we can conclude that uh, this uh, iron oxide alpha phase can be used for healthcare uh, uh, applications where you can do for go for non-invasive diabetes detection. So, this is a good candidate for that particular thing. Thank you. So,